this video, I'm going to show you the basic ultrasound examination protocol of the shoulder. Let's get into it. Hi, my name is Jakub and I am physical medicine and rehabilitation specialist. Today, I will guide you through the basic examination protocol of the shoulder. I will show you where to look for joint fluid and how to identify soft tissue structures around the shoulder. We will examine the shoulder from three different views, anterior, lateral and posterior. The examination begins with the anterior view in the transverse plane. Medially, we can see the subscapularis tendon and its insertion at the lesser tubercle. Laterally, we can see the tendon of the long head of biceps in the bicipital groove. This is the first place to look for joint fluid as it is the lowest part of the joint. We can follow the tendon distally to its insertion to the muscle belly. When we rotate the probe by 90 degrees, we can see the tendon of the long head of the biceps in the long excess. We can also follow the tendon distally to the myotendinous junction. Next, from the lateral view in the transverse plane, we can identify the rotator cuff in the short axis. Between the deltoid muscles and the rotator cuff, we can identify the subacromial bursa. Healthy rotator cuff should resemble the appearance of a tire. When we rotate the probe by 90 degrees, we can see the rotator cuff in the long axis. In this view, a healthy rotator cuff should look like a bird's beak. The last view is the posterior view. Here we can identify the glenohumeral labrum. This is the second place where we look for the accumulation of the intraarticular fluid. Superficially, we can see the muscle belly and the tendon of the infraspinatus muscle inserting to the greater tubercle. So that was the basic ultrasound examination protocol of the shoulder. I hope you like it and thanks for watching.